Hey everyone, welcome to AI Online Course. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I built a face recognition system. It can detect faces in pictures and tell if two faces belong to the same person. Super useful for things like security, photo apps, and more. This project detects and recognizes faces using deep learning. First, we detect faces using MTCNN. Then, we extract embeddings using the Inception ResNet V1 model. Finally, we compare faces using cosine similarity to determine how alike they are. Now explain step by step the development process. First step one, data collection, gather a diverse set of face images for comparison. Step two, pre-processing convert images to suitable formats for detection and extraction. Step three, model selection, choose MTCNN for detection and Inception ResNet V1 for embeddings. Step four, cosine similarity, compare embeddings to determine matching faces. Step five, result presentation, display matcher faces with cosine distance values. And finally, step six, optimization, fine tune the threshold for improved accuracy in real world scenarios. Before starting with the code, head over to Google and search for build a face recognition system, AIOnlineCourse.com. You'll find this project AI Online Course, where we'll provide detailed explanations and well-structured content along with full source code to help you dive deep into the project. Now I will run the full code step by step in Google Collab. Each step is clearly explained and executed in order, so you can easily follow along and understand how the system works from start to finish. First, mounting Google Drive to access and save files directly from Collab. Now we install essential libraries for deep learning and face recognition, including TensorFlow, Keras, OpenCV, and FaceNet-based models. Then, imports essential libraries for building a face recognition system using MTCNN for face detection, Inception ResNet V1 for face embeddings, and tools like OpenCV, NumberPy, and PyTorch for image processing and deep learning in Google Collab. Now, this code sets your Kaggle username and API key from secure Collab storage so you can access Kaggle datasets. After that, Download the LFW People Face dataset from Kaggle using the Kaggle API. We extract the contents of the downloaded lfewpeople.zip file into a folder named lfewpeoplefaces using Python's built in zip file module. After that, list all files and folders inside the lfewpeoplefaces directory to verify that the dataset was extracted successfully. Now, we define and use a function to extract and convert image files from a. TGZ archive into JPG format. It first checks if the output directory exists and creates it if necessary. Then it opens the .tgz file, loops through its contents, and processes only valid image files. Each image is converted to RGB mode to ensure compatibility, and then saved as a .jpg file in the specified output folder. This process helps standardize the image format and prepares the LFW dataset for further use in face recognition tasks. Sets the variable image path to the location of a specific image from the extracted and converted LFW people dataset so it can be used later for face detection or recognition tasks. Now, set up a FaceNet-based face recognition model with GPU support and MTCNN for face detection. It loads a pre-trained Inception ResNet V1 model and unfreezes only the last layers for fine tuning on new data. The model uses Atom W Optimizer, MSE loss for training on embeddings, and a scheduler to adjust the learning rate over time. After that, the image is read and converted to RGB format, and MTCNN is used to detect faces and landmarks. If any faces are found, green bounding boxes are drawn around them using OpenCV. The resulting image is then displayed in Google Collab or a message is shown if no faces are detected. Now, the code reads an image, converts it to RGB, and uses MTCNN to detect faces. For each detected face, it extracts face embeddings with the FaceNet model, moving data to the proper device, and running the model in evaluation mode. Finally, it returns all the embeddings as a list. Then, it compares two face embeddings by calculating their cosine distance, after flattening, and moving them to the CPU. If the distance is below a set threshold, it returns true, otherwise it returns false. Now, processes a list of image paths 
extracts face embeddings from each image using get face embeddings and stores the results in a list. It returns a list of embeddings for all input images. Then, it compares faces from two images by first extracting their embeddings. If both images have at least one detected face, it compares the first face from each using cosine similarity. It then prints whether the faces match based on the similarity threshold. Now, compare the faces in two images, image 1 and image 2. The program extracts embeddings for the first detected face in each image and checks whether these embeddings match based on cosine similarity, printing either faces match or faces do not match, depending on the result. Then, it visualizes two face embeddings side by side using matplotlib. It reshapes each embedding into a 3216 grid for plotting after moving them to the CPU and converting to number py. This helps visually compare the feature patterns of two faces. This code extracts face embeddings from two images and visualizes them using the previously defined plot embeddings function. It first ensures both images have at least one detected face, then plots the first embedding from each image as 2D grids to visually compare their patterns. If embeddings are missing, it prints a warning message. Now, it searches for faces similar to an input image within a folder. It first extracts the embedding of the input image, then randomly samples up to max images from the folder. For each sampled image, it computes embeddings and compares them to the input embedding using cosine distance. If the distance is below a given threshold, the match is stored and returned as a list of similar images with their distances. After that, Locate the find similar faces function to identify images in a folder that contain faces similar to the face in the Andre Agassi image. It compares the input face embedding with others in the folder using cosine similarity and returns matches with distances below the threshold. Now, visualize the input image and its most similar matches found in the dataset. If any similar faces were identified, it displays the input image and each matched face side by side with their corresponding cosine distance as the title. If no similar faces are found below the threshold, it prints a message indicating that. Installs the DeepFace library and OpenCV Python in your environment, allowing you to use advanced face-related features and computer vision tools. Finally, this code uses DeepFace to compare a face from a given image against faces detected frame by frame in a video. It reads the video processes each frame, and checks if the face in the frame matches the reference image based on a similarity threshold. If a match is found, it prints a confirmation and stops. Otherwise, it continues until the video ends, reporting no match if none is found. We successfully built a face recognition system that detects faces, extracts embeddings, and compares them using cosine similarity. It can efficiently find similar faces in large image collections, making it useful for security, authentication, and photo organization. This project demonstrates the power of AI in solving complex face recognition challenges. For the full code and to learn more projects, visit AIOnlineCourse.com. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you liked this project, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more tech tutorials. Check out our next video on object detection with Yolov 8. Link in the description. See you in the next one.